Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill, I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is quite a quick one because I get a lot of these comments about how do you deconstruct a spell? And so I thought I would show you how to do it. The spell we're going to deconstruct is a spell that I did several mm, months ago, even possibly a year ago, and it was a simple money spell. The spell itself was me writing my intention upon a bay leaf. Bay leaves bring prosperity, abundance and wealth into spells, so it was a particularly good format to write down my intent upon it. I then sent out this spell into the universe. And I think at the time I was actually asking for money to pay for the heating oil because it was extraordinarily expensive and we didn't have any. This spell worked. However, the spell still contains some magical power in it. And as it's a money spell, I thought I might just send out the extra power into the universe and see what comes back. So I'm going to show you how I deconstructed this spell. And of course, for this, I will need my trusty bureau. You deconstruct spells by using the four elements, earth, air, fire and water. I'm putting down some slate to use as a fireproof mat, because I will be using the element of fire. I always cast a circle for the benefit of the spell amongst the working area. Next up is candles and plenty of them. Anyone who knows me knows I love a candle. Using a joss stick, I'm now cleansing the area with smoke. This is really important as it prevents any negativity getting into your spell and changing its outcome. The spell is going to be deconstructed using fire and so here is my burning cauldron. Burning ensures that all the magic that is remaining is therefore released out into the universe and I can see what comes back. And the spell is now finished. If you've got something like a spell bottle, just take it apart and then burn the contents. Make sure that your intent goes out to the universe. Be careful with what the contents are. You don't want any noxious fumes after all. Otherwise, a great way to get rid of a spell is to bury the actual contents of the spell bottle. Remember, the bottle is just a vessel and it's the inside of it that really matters. Then you can wash and reuse your bottles. Other spells, such as noxious liquids or anything, I would tend to pour onto the earth just to get rid of them so that any leftover energy goes back to Mother Earth. That is how you deconstruct a spell. Let me know in the comments below whether you have any other methods that might be useful for us to know about how you can deconstruct your own spells. I would love to know. Don't forget to go and look at Patreon because our cover meeting is happening this week. And please like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon.